Hey guys, Rob from Reduce Tech here, and in this movie I'm going to walk you through a free plugin called Zampler, which is available exclusively at PluginBoutique.com. This is a sampler plugin that comes with two awesome Loopmasters sample banks, which can be used to make sounds like this. So all of the tracks in this project I've just started working on have been created with Zampler, and there's basically all of the essential elements going on already, with the drums being made by two separate tracks, each playing a different patch or collection of samples, one creating the main drums, and the other a tops layer. There's also a subby sound on the first track, which has the top end rolled off. but also works well in full. And another filler type lead, which is using Zampler's filters and LFOs to make this rhythmic pattern, which again works well on its own or accompanying the bass. Then there's a wicked bass sound, which is pretty simple, just using glide and the phaser effect on Zampler to create this satisfying phrase. And lastly, a lead sound, or actually a bass sound played in a higher register to create this lead. And this was all done very quickly and easily with Zampler's intuitive GUI. So to run you through the interface, the central window is where you load sounds into Zampler, which you do on the main display. Here you can see you've got bank, patch, and SFZ or Rex file sections, all of which have load buttons. So if I click load bank, for example, I can navigate to the two Loopmasters banks, which are a main room and EDM drums bank, and a dance production sounds bank, which contains basses, leads, pads, and all sorts. And as you can see, you get a decent amount of samples in each of these banks, all handpicked from Loopmasters' extensive library. So loading the FXB bank file into Zampler now, we get a load of patches to choose from, which in this bank are all kits. You can see which keys have samples loaded onto them by their darker tone. And in some banks, you also get a bass or lead stab mapped across a range of keys, as well as drums mapped to individual ones. So now I've got an instance of Zampler here loaded with one of the synth lead patches from the dance production bank, which is a fat sound. So I'll just give you a quick tour of the front panel to show you the main things that Zampler can do. First up, there are modulators on either side, with three envelopes on the right and three LFOs on the left. So the amp envelope allows you to shape the level of the patch, changing it into a much briefer sound, for example, or into a gentler pad sound. Then you've got two modulation envelopes. The first is routing to the filter above, which is a four mode filter. So if we set it to low pass and have the cutoff set nice and low and turn up the filter's envelope dial, we can use the ADSR dials below to create some cool effects. Or, for a more continuous filter modulation effect, we could go to the mod matrix display where you can set up an additional 11 routings. So I can choose LFO1 as the source, and then filter cutoff as the destination, and then crank up the amount, which makes LFO1 modulate the cutoff up and down. Which I can then adjust in all the ways you'd expect, like changing the LFO waveform, rate, and so on. With the rate being synchronizable too. The fade in dial is a good one too, for making the LFO's effect gradually increase rather than jump to max immediately.
in the output section there are some more useful controls. Next to the main volume you've got Glide, which creates a longer slide from one pitch to the next. And then two more buttons here, one that sets it to mono rather than poly, so only one note is heard at a time, for making bass lines and lead sounds rather than chords or intervals. And then an ARP switch, which turns on the onboard arpeggiator, which is a cool feature. Its parameters are set in the central area, where it can be made to have up to 32 steps with different note values, velocities and timing. And the mode setting is a nice one, as you can set it to some interesting modes like duophonic, or chord mode. And also modulation, where it can then be set up as the modulation source for another sampler parameter in the matrix and be used to create whatever performance curve you like. Lastly then, the two switches at the bottom toggle the view between the keyboard and effects section, which has a nice little collection of effects, including distortion, EQ, chorus or phaser, delay, and reverb. So Zampler is a really nice little sampler that's easy to use but packs a lot in. Plus having two included sound banks with great sounding drums, synths and other samples and a whole load more expansion packs on the way, it's a really good tool for adding any types of sounds to your tracks or even building entire arrangements as I'm doing here. So head on over to pluginboutique.com anytime to download this little gem for free. See you next time.